Hey everybody, Mark with Grimtastic Baits here. It is a fairly early morning, fairly cold. We just had the, all those tornadoes run through. Uh, just off to uh, the west of us, we had some loss of life even, which is unfortunate. But you live in the Midwest and that stuff happens. Sure beats earthquakes and hurricanes, right? Anyway, not to be so gloom and doom. On an earlier video, Kind of a boring one, I might add, but the uh, the line, testing out that Daiwa line, which I still love, by the way. I was hinting about hooking this guy differently. As you know, okay, now this one's been worn and torn, and I don't want to show you, but <laughs> I've actually tore it through there. I should replace this. Um, the normal way to hook the Grim Swim, 4.1 inch. Use the 4 aught weighted swim bait hook, which works great. It does, I mean... You got the hook slot there, then you got a little hook slot in the top there, which I have torn right through. Like I say, I should probably be using a better example. This one's probably gonna come off and get remelted. But what if I took that hook slot delete out, which Epic Bait Molds does sell the hook slot delete. And I put that in, oh, that's the wrong one, that's for the darter. Anyway, I'll get the right one. And I put it in there so it's there's no hook slot. And I'm thinking there's two other ways I want to try and rig this thing. So let's see what we can do. All right, so I am breaking the rules on shooting your molds cold. It's like 40 degrees in this garage. But I'm not doing these for production, so. I could care less. These are for my own personal experimentation. I'm at a very bad angle to be doing this. But I wanted to get on camera because who doesn't love to see what I'm doing, right? <laughs> anyway let these things drink a little bit because I'm sure they're going to and when they're done we're going to see how they turned out without the hook slots with such a really random color. Get ready to remold or demold these and I just realized I'm a twit. <laughs> I had my uh, desired colors mixed so I'm going to get the opposite of what I was actually wanting. Which means, oh darn, I guess I'll just have to shoot them again. Oh yeah, I need to anyway. Ha! <laughs> okay. That's a fail. That's a big fail. See? Don't shoot with cold molds. I bet the other one's the same way. And I had the, the temps, like, matched. They were, they were perfect. Okay, now, eh, go figure. Not perfect, but... I want the red on the top and the whitish bluish on the belly. Yeah, we'll try that again. All right, everyone wants to see take two, right? So let's see how we ended up. Now, the molds are warm. I think also, remember how I said, oh, I'm not at the best angle? I had shoving here blocking the handle so I was shooting at an angle and I kind of wonder if maybe that had a lot to do with it as I looked at the bait but let's see oh yeah see better angle better angle heat your molds oh yeah odd color yep absolutely but <laughs> I'll tell you why it's just leftover bait or er, leftover bait leftover plastic I'm using to experiment with however it is springtime and I'm hoping that little bit of red might add to it. See there, no hook slot. We got a nice, thick, full belly, which is exactly what I need this for. Let's see how the other guy turned out. You do things right, you really can't go wrong. Just follow some simple rule. Okay, I got a little bit of red streaking there little bit that 
that probably wouldn't even hit my scratch and dent. That's not that shabby. So that's what we're looking at. Next, I'm going to get back to you on what I think I need to do to rig these. Okay, so welcome back to the sort of thing I lose sleep over. This is, this is a mess because I'm trying to figure this out yet. So here, what I'm thinking is this is the big old Mustad hooks. 91768BLN4 odd. This is what I make my regular swim bait hooks out of. As you can see. Then you pour the lead, you get the lead down there, then you use your, your twist lock there. Or a, a hitching post, I guess is what you want to call it. So I was thinking in the name of everybody loving all things hover. I have the hover rig or whatever, the strolling rig, which honestly, this has been around for like 30 years and people just rediscovering it. I don't know. Anyway, kind of like fashion, isn't it? Like all that stuff in the 80s, you know, died out late 80s as far as clothing. And all of a sudden the 80s are back, which I love, don't get me wrong, but just don't bring back the parachute pants. Anyway, so I'm thinking, what if it wasn't a full hover? What if I ran it through here and used that right on through and I know what you're thinking well Mark that's that's still there's no weight in it well let me to introduce you my option to that sorry if I just snorted in the camera it is freezing cold out here so once the hook's in this is just a regular worm nose hook that I've painted up find the center of gravity and put it up in there through the thick part of the belly. Now, you could adjust it so it could fall more tail first, more head first. I want something that is gonna fall just like that, that the tail is gonna kick on the way down. Might be more realistic to have it towards the rear, but I don't know as it falls what that tail is gonna do. So that is one of the options. Now, along with doing that, Let's say we, we keep, we keep the, uh, the nose weight in there. The thing I'm thinking is if you bounce that on the bottom, I wonder if that clacking and it hits bottom on rock or anything would be an attractant. I don't know, just a thought. Or we could go with your traditional big old hook. This is a... You're there. Eagle Claw. This is the 574. It's an extended shank. I originally got these because I wanted to make a ball head jig with an extended shank, which there are some on my website or on my Etsy store, because I was thinking, oh, that was not 25 miles an hour. So I was thinking uh, a longer shank for the three inch Grim Swims, but anyway, I digress. So maybe put that in there. The hook would be a little less wonky. I could have the eye of the hook further back. It'd be more of a real hover rig possibly. And then I had the weight in there. Now the other option <clears throat> is still do the weight in the bottom, right? But to increase hookup, because let me ask you, sometimes it is hard to hook up with a single hook on a, on a larger swim bait. Is treble bait up or treble hook up there, right? This is a two out treble hook, uh, Gamakatsu, I believe, and um, I'm thinking do like. I don't know who was the first to come out with it lately. Sixth Sense, maybe, I don't know. But do the the screw in, you know, like I do for my swim baits, and then run a, a line through there. So when you do hook up, if it does tear out, you're just fighting that, and your bait isn't getting in the way. Might keep the bait from getting more tore up. Another thought is, um, instead of sinking the hook into the bait and having it like this, which is pretty wicked and all, I do have some tiny earth magnets maybe stick in the top of there. And then when it attracts to that metal hook, I'd actually have three ways of snagging stuff. I mean, catching a fish. And I think that would be pretty deadly. And the other thing I was thinking is I use these on my 
swinger booty jigs that is swinging jig head um these are well, i don't know that i have them sitting out i think i just found this one laying around it uh let me find them oh stw 155 what if i were to install that in there and have it come out the top Something like that so that it's all wire but then if you do that and you hook up with a fish I'm afraid that's just gonna tear the bait all to hell so this is kind of kind of not getting my vote and I think I'm going more this direction so once I figure out what I'm gonna do I'll come back and show you all right as you can see I've decided and Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I hate them. Now, they might, they might swim great. They might look good. I'm going to test them in my kid's fish tank, of course. At least just the drop of them. But I hate this. This is terrible. This is... <laughs> yeah, I put eyes on. Went with the line on top and then buried the treble in the back. Honestly, this looks goofy as hell. This is a bad idea. The... Mm, that hook's going to definitely affect how that bait swims. It does not look natural. Don't do this. <laughs> Take it from me. Don't do this. Maybe a smaller treble. I don't know, but I think you're going to lower your hookup rate. I just, I just don't like it. Then here's your wonderful hover rig. This one, not as bad. I, I, I could fish that. Um... The advantage of having the exposed hook, of course, as opposed to we use the swim bait hook. Hook's not exposed, but man, it slips down off there so easy on the bite that it's it's just not even an issue. It just I'm still liking this the best. The way it was intended. But here's what we're looking at here, like I say for your strolling or hover rig or whatever y'all want to call it. Uh, I don't know. And I thought, you know, back to basics. How come I didn't think of this? Remember how I was talking about that long shanked uh, jig head? Well, there's that long shanked jig head with just running it through there. Basic as can be. Now, when it falls, of course, it's going to be doing this sort of thing. But I guess if you wanted to try and rig it differently somehow, that might be an option. I'm not a fan of jig heads in front of swim baits that have eyes. That just, to me, looks goofy, but maybe, this, maybe the fish don't care. I don't know. But that's a third option as opposed to, well, let's just lay them all out here. And then the OG. Maybe that'll end up being my... Maybe that'll end up being my uh, thumbnail. <clears throat> Goofy as it looks. But I'm going to throw them in the test tank. <laughs> test tank. I do have a test tank. It's 20 gallon, but it's not filled with water because we just got through winter and I didn't want it freezing up and cracking. So my kid's cichlid and uh, huge freaking... Uh, God, what is it? Some sort of algae eater. Yeah, gonna have fun with these. Any hoozles. That is what we are looking at for now. And I'll get back to you with these tied on individually and in my daughter's fish tank. Then you know what? I think we're gonna take them out fishing just to see. May not be today because these baits are not cured. And, well, maybe I will. I'll have to see. Either way, I'm gonna fish them too. So here's the OG, pick it up, drop it. You can see it drops head first. I'll do some slow-mo. Maybe it'll show a difference. It's so fast the way it sinks. There's not enough sinking space in here, but that's what I got there.
here we have it rigged with just a jig head. I will say though, look at that, if you were to use that jigging, sorry, I'm trying to film and do this at the same time, it's not working too well. That's not bad. What I'm least excited about seeing, this is the treble hook. Oh God. Maybe if it had more room. It's just all over the, that's terrible. Don't rig it like those guys. Okay, hey, won't lie, this is what I'm most interested in seeing. I think if you had some depth, this might work a lot better. I just don't think there's enough room in a little tank to pull this off to see what it really looks like. All right, so I apologize. Bad footage on the tank. I'm sorry. I don't have a tripod that'll fit in her room that I can, you know, do any filming with. And then I'd be in the way of the camera and trying to do it with the camera while jigging up and down. I'm not that talented. But anyway, here's my takeaway without actually getting these out and fishing and just kind of getting a feel for them. This garbage. Don't do it. This bleh. Now. Bad. You sit in the corner. This surprisingly this might work really good just vertical jigging i was not expecting that this actually has a lot of potential if you're in a boat or on a dock or somewhere where you can jig this i might be trying this out if i can get out unfortunately i don't have a boat if anybody's got a boat want to go fishing hey take me with i want to try this this has potential this <sighs> jury's still out on it i think it needs more depth to be able to tell what it's really going to do maybe you forward facing sonar guys freaks whatever 
that think that's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Sorry if I'm offending you, but you're playing a video game, you're not finishing. I said it. Uh, that's my stance on it. If you want to do it, fine. By all means, that's 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 cool and all. I mean, if that's what you want to do. If I want to play video games, I'll sit at home and play video games. But, um, might have some potential. I don't know. Boy, I'm just waiting for the hate in the comments on that. I should have said that. Whatever, whatever. It's an opinion. It's America. I'm entitled to it. This is still, in my opinion, the way to go. Exactly what it was designed, designed for. Exactly how you would rig it. This is a hard one to beat. This is just what it is. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to find a way to move that that weight backwards. BKK, I think it is, makes a swim bait hook that that slides. You can position, position it anywhere you want. If I could find a way to make one up and rig it on my own, because I make my own of these little boogers here and paint them up, make them look pretty, whatever. But if I could find a way to make it a weight that could slide and I could pin it in place, place with little pieces of rubber, plastic, whatever it is they use. It might have some potential. But, uh, yeah. Hook slot with the swim bait hook. Still the way to go. But I just thought I'd try something different. So, I don't know. If you guys have any other ideas or maybe you have this mold and, and buy these baits and, and you have an opinion on how you like to fish them differently, just something different, you know? I, I like to find something that somebody hasn't come up with or done before. And huh, I don't think anybody's put a damn worm nose weight in the bottom of their swim bait before. It looks a lot like the egg sack that you would see on fish like arowanas and stuff when they're first born. And they still have that egg sack attached. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's got any potential. Anyway, that's what I've got for this week. I hope you liked it. It's just something a little quirky to do. Um, as always... Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm not your dad. I can't tell you what to do, but thanks for watching and have a great weekend.